Hi everyone and welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. Well, I have this second part of the Goodwill Retail Store Haul to share with you here. And then I have the first of what will be two bins that I'll share with you that I got at the Goodwill Outlet in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Before I get started though, I want to introduce you to a new member of my crew. This, <laughs> this little guy is Diesel. I just adopted him, oh my gosh, Tuesday, Wednesday? Uh, he is a Chihuahua, 14 years old, partially blind, and the little guy has no teeth. So, um, I decided it was finally time after losing my Violet to bring another little senior into my crew and that is what I did with this little guy, Diesel. I'm not going to change his name. He's had it for far too long. Uh, the story behind him is that he was living with an elderly man with uh, several other animals and uh, receiving rather poor care. So the gentleman wisely gave them all up to a rescue. So there's my new boy. <laughs> We're getting adjusted to each other. Luckily, I can tell you that Lewis and he are getting along just fine. Oh, and here's my little Cece, who you rarely see. Um, they're really not paying him any much too much attention. Uh, they sniff him a little bit, and pretty much that is it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe Cece is here. She rarely, rarely does this. And where's my Val? She is back there having her last meal of the day. I am going to be taking Valerie into the vet tomorrow, and um, she's going to be having her right eye removed. Uh, we've been dealing with an ongoing infection behind her eye uh, for far longer than I actually thought it was going on. <clears throat> and uh, we've tried topical and injectable, both steroids and antibiotics. And although it has worked to a certain extent, it has not resolved the problem. And I know that the eye still bothers her. I don't think she's in pain, but I know that it bothers her because she keeps it closed, like partially closed. And uh, when I take her to the vet, and I've noticed it as well, that third eyelid is up. So I kind of thought we were going down that path. And uh, last time I took her in for her recheck last week, uh, that's where we headed. And my vet, who I do trust, I've been going to him for gosh, over 20 years. I No, not 20 years. It might be 20 years. It's been at least 15. I know that. Um, he said, if she were my cat, this is what I would do. So that's what is going to happen. So she's going to be just as beautiful as always. She's just going to be missing an eye. That's okay. So this little bugger um, is going to stay in his little sling here while I share this haul with you. Uh, this was the haul that I think I spent somewhere around $57, something like that, from this particular Goodwill. Uh, another rolling pin for $1.99. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you heard that, but we just had a big after-dinner burp. <laughs> so, excuse her. Uh, $1.99 rolling pin. Oops, stay there. Now... Who remembers getting this as a graduation gift from high school? I did. Whoops, it's upside down. And it is the cross pen and pencil set. Whoops. And this one, as you can see, see, still has literature in it. I did test the pen and unfortunately it doesn't work. So it just, it needs a refill. And then luckily there were a couple of, uh, there was a set of cufflinks in there too. And that's funny because I had a gentleman, oh, a couple of weeks ago when I was up at my booth, kind of sprucing things up, and he came by and and uh, he made a mention about the vin the vintage scarves that I hang had hanging up, and he said, "Do you have any cufflinks?" I did not. Now I do. This is really cool. I will put this away for Halloween. It's just a stuffed. I'm going to say it's a stuffed witch's boot. I think it is super cool. 
And this thing, believe it or not, it looks like it originally sold for $11.99. So we'll be putting that away. Uh, these I vacillated on a little bit, and then Heidi kind of talked me into it. Yeah, this is the trip. I will try and, at the end of this video, put in the first haul video that I shared with you uh, from what I picked up at this uh, Goodwill. And I went with my friends Heidi over at the Weather Fence Post and my friend Kelly, who does not have a YouTube channel. She just is an avid picture. And I think that's why we get along so well, plus she's just a sweetheart. But I vacillated on these and Heidi kind of put me over the fence on them. Anyway, it is, I can't get the tape off. It's a set of one, I think there are like six of them in here from Rusty Stars. And they are heavy, heavy, heavy. So I'm actually really happy that I picked them up. And I think you might have seen the price on those of $6.99. Then I got this little enamelware pot and lid with the wood handle on it in the pretty red. Um, very, oh, I don't know what that is in there, but very, very good condition inside. This may be aluminum actually and not, um, oh, it says something on the back of it. Oh, they put their sticker on top of it. It says Dolphin Japan. So I don't know, I guess it's still enamelware, right? I'm not sure, I'll have to do some research on that. Picked up this packet of little teaspoons and such. The reason I got these is because, let me grab some scissors, is because I thought it would be good to have them when I, you know, run across various items that I might need these for and don't have them at the time. I do not believe they're, oh my goodness, I mean, some of them are such, they're just adorable. These are from Oneida, I think. That one is a little bit plainer. Oh, you know what? I could put these with the, you know, the little uh, teacups and tea and such that I plan on um, putting together. I still have to do that video for you. Um, but I could put one of these in each of the teacups. Oh, that would make it even more, hopefully, desirable. Ah, maybe once in a while have a good idea. So we'll be putting those to use, good use. I uh, found another little cloche, not a cloche, apothecary jar. And this was only 49 cents. It's in perfect condition, like a little bell shape. And this little creamer, and let me put this little guy in his sling right up here. It'll be easier for me. There we go. I can get closer and you can see things better. Look at how pretty this is. It's a really soft, soft green. And look at the floral pattern on here. I just love this. And it's Ironstone. It's from uh, Calyx, Calyx Wear. It's called Ming Jade. I love this piece. Oh, hello, Louis. There's everyone's favorite, Louis. I wish there had been another one of these, but I'm really happy with just getting the one. I'm gonna put a little succulent in that. Found yet another. Now this one is vintage though. This time this is vintage. One of the peg racks. Uh, this is from Nevco Finest Products uh, made in Japan. And then for myself, I got a brand new garlic press. So that is everything left to share with you from the Goodwill retail store. Um, and don't forget, if you happen to be new to my channel, I do ask everybody to watch through to the end of the video and then let us all know what your, hey Val, let us all know what your favorite find was. Uh, and it can be from the retail Goodwill or from the bins, the outlet, which is what I'm going to share with you next. If, if I can pick this up with this one here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, goodness. Go, go 
Oh, I'm so sorry, Diesel. Oh, cut him the chops. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, he's okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> um, when you go over to Heidi's channel and watch the video on what she picked up, we both got this exact same mallard duck. <laughs> that was so funny when I showed her. We kind of showed Kelly and, and no, 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 baby, come on. We, Kelly and Heidi and I showed each other sort of real quickly what we got. And I showed her this and, and uh, Heidi said, I got the same duck. So we got the same duck. Now I did have a loon a while back that was a bit heavier. Uh, this one is not heavy at all. So I don't think he's made to be a doorstop or anything, but he will look really cool in, you know, a man cave or a, a uh, oh my goodness, um, like a lot, oh my gosh, a lake house, something like that. Um, but not a doorstop because not near heavy enough. Okay, I'm not going to show you all of these, but I did pick up a whole bunch of paint brushes. Because if I can find them inexpensive, you know, at the bins, I will pick them up because, you know, paintbrushes can be pretty expensive. Oh, what is this? Oh, here we have, pretty sure this is a vintage piece. I believe it is a tree skirt with this uh, kind of drummer person on it. Uh, embroidered by Bro... Brodery, brodery, I think that says 100% cotton um, from Shanghai, China, made in Shanghai, China. So I'm pretty sure that is an older vintage piece. Let me see if I can put him down if he'll be quiet. I'll keep him. Let me stay right there, okay? When he wants something, he gets very, very vocal. This I will put away for Christmas for the booth. It's one of those little beanie boos, but he's absolutely adorable and he's in very, very good condition. And you can see he still has his tags on him. Uh, this, we weren't 100% sure, there he goes. We weren't 100% sure if this was vintage or not, but came to the conclusion that it probably is. Um, yes, it was made in China. But, you know, we've been buying from China for a long time, I keep saying. So I found this one. And bear with me for a second, and I will pick him up. Uh, and then I got this one, too, the door hangers. Come on, little man. Come on. Oh, up he goes. <laughs> and let me put him back in his little sling here. In he goes. Oops. In he goes. Okay, are you all in? Make sure he's all in. If he fell from, I mean, I'm short, but he fell from this height, it would not be good because he is a teeny, teeny, tiny little thing. I gotta fatten him up. Uh, another vintage tree skirt. Is this the same? Oh, yes, same motif. Uh, these I will also pick up when I find them the embroidery hooks or the embroidery loops, because um, these I bundled together, and I have sold these in my booth, um, so I will pick them up, hang on to them, and then when I get a bunch of them, I'll put them all together. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, okay, I did this once before. I'm going to do this again. I hate finding flags in the bins. First of all, because I just hate finding flags in the bins. And second of all, because if nobody takes them, they're going to the dump, which hurts my heart. So I did this once before and I'd like to do it again. Now this has got some age to it, okay? Um, it is a, a five by eight made by Bulldog, 100% cotton bunting. Um, I There's no date on it or anything like that, but what I wanna offer is that if someone is in need of a flag and they are going to fly this, um, if you are willing to pay the postage on it, I will ship this to you free of charge. 
because I want it to have a home where it's going to be flown and respected. So if anybody is interested, my email will be in the description box for this video. Just go ahead and drop me a message um, and let me know, okay? Oh, Heidi and I both picked up a whole bunch of little horses. Some of them are briar, uh, some are not. I think what I am going to do with them is lot them together though. Uh, unless I look them up, I have to rethink that. If I can look these up online and find the briar horse, and if they're selling for a decent price, then I will probably sell them individually. Otherwise, I'll lot them up. But I won't show you all of the ones that I found. Oh, although there's another one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, Kelly found this for me, and it's a really pretty little note set with cards and such. Very springtimey. And then I found a whole bunch of vintage dollhouse furniture. And you might remember uh, several, several videos ago, I found some vintage dollhouse furniture and it has all sold. And I sold them individually. It was, um, they were bathroom pieces. So I have a chair and I do have some bathroom pieces in here too. Um, like this one right here. So I will more than likely price these individually and sell those in my booth. And then I found, um, the other one is in there somewhere, but I found two of these, I'm assuming they're cast iron um, hooks. And I'll be able to use those for some projects. Now, ordinarily, I don't like picking up single candlestick holders. Oh wait, this is stuck, there we go. But this is so cool. I only found one of these, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. So this one, I didn't mind just finding one of them and it's metal. I don't know if it's, oh, it actually has a thing. Uh, it's, it says E-M-I-G 1406. I have no idea what that means. I'll have to do some research on that. Um, oops, some more dollhouse furniture. Oh, I wonder if there were supposed to be drawers in here shoot and I have the shade to a lamp which is in in here somewhere uh, oh here it is huh there it is and this did light up at one point in time I will have to fix that oh that's oops you know what this might be brass the bottom of it that's kind of cool I didn't realize that when I picked it up no, you don't, buddy. <laughs> and then this was just really cute. So I thought, oh, here's another lamp. Oh, these strings are all tangled up. Ah, there we go. You have another lamp. I have to put that one back together a little bit. And this, too, is a metal base on it. How cool is that? And here is the puppet that I got. <laughs> He's all tangled up now, but I would say he is a German Shepherd, wouldn't you? That's what I think he is. He might be. He's probably, yeah, he's a handmade puppet, but I think he's just cute as can be. I don't think I have ever, ever picked up a puppet before. Uh, another embroidery hoop. Oh, this is cute. Uh, this is a lighthouse. I don't know if it, it's an actual lighthouse somewhere. But I got it for a couple of reasons. This is definitely cast iron. So for the cast iron collectors, the skillet collectors, the lighthouse collectors, I thought this would appeal to a bunch of different people. Um, this was made in China. IAC International Minneapolis, Minnesota, it says on there. And then, oh, uh, what else is Okay, this may seem silly, but if I can find brand new packaged soaps in the bins, I'll pick them up. These couldn't have cost me, I don't, I have no idea. I mean, I, they don't even weigh a pound. So all of these soaps together, 
maybe cost me a dollar fifty. And there's another, um, like an individual one down here somewhere. Um, let me see what else. Oh, there's that other hook. And what else is in here? Oh, some more doll house furniture. Oh, we have a toilet, another toilet. And then rocking chair. Oh, and I have to show you the piano because the piano is pretty cool. Here is the piano. I don't know about the color on it, but it has, a key, you know, the keys on it. I thought that was pretty cool. So that takes care of that. Now I have a few. Oh, oh Valerie is hitting the wind chimes. Okay. This I thought was really neat. We'll put this away for uh, Christmas. It's um, metal, some kind of tin, and you put a candle in the back there, but I thought it was really cute. Look at the little family out on front, their porch. I think that's adorable. Oh, uh, what else do we have down here? Oh goodness, I forgot how much stuff I got. Oops, we have a vintage uh, Bromwell's flower sifter. Now this has some rust in it, so this will be sold for decor purposes only. Oh, wait till you see this old kitty. Look at that old kitty cat. And she still has, she was a Valentine gift for somebody. Um, let's see if it was ever, no, there's no, like you can't write in it or anything. And she was originally, wow, $4.95. And I think she was, yep, yeah, made in Korea. She has to be cleaned up a little bit, but I just love her. Um, got some linens here. We got this scarf, which is uh, polyester, made in Korea. Beautiful print on this. And yes, the vintage scarves do sell in my booth. In fact, I was lucky enough to just to sell two of them today. Um, let me see. Oh, these are cool. I found two of these. These are pillow covers. Aren't they cool? For long pillows, I don't know the size. I haven't measured them or anything, but I was lucky enough to find two of these. They're in beautiful condition. And I found a whole bunch of hankies. Now that one, now that's not a hanky, but I found that. Um, just a whole, whole bunch of hankies. And these I will, and all little small linens here. And embroidered hankies, beautiful. This one I think is a D. Yeah, I would say that was a D. Oh, what else do we have in here? Picked up some blocks. I always pick these up if I can find them loose. And I will wait until I get enough of them. And then I will put them into a Ziploc bag and sell them as a lot. And they have sold. Um, the last two bags I had did take a little while to sell, but they did sell. Uh, this I just got for crafting purposes. Uh, this I got for crafting purposes. I want to see if come closer to Christmas time, uh, since my daughter is into the gnomes for Christmas, if I can turn this Santa kind of birdhouse into a gnome birdhouse. I think it'll be really cute if it comes out like I, you know, like I have it in my head. Um, oh, stay there, little man. Oops. I'm not going to undo these because boing, you know, with the, it's the sun protectors for your car, your vehicle. These Believe it or not, I got these for myself, and I, if I remember correctly, they're unicorns. But I thought it would be so much cuter in my truck than just the plain old silver ones that I have now. Oh, they didn't need a scary Lewis. Picked up this little rustic box, and I will be doing some kind of DIY to that. And I found this spool of string, which I might put with a vintage pair of scissors that might look kind of cool and maybe appeal to someone more in the booth oh i just got something in my eye oh i think i got it oh yeah a little fuzzy on my eyelash um oh this i picked up this even though it's missing 
the saw blade that goes into it. Um, I've been doing pretty well with sort of industrial pieces in my booth. Um, and this screamed industrial, it's a tool to me, so that's why I picked that up. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> who doesn't need a llama tea infuser? I was hoping that this was um, like a terracotta or something, it's not. It's um, plastic, but it's brand new, sealed in the package. So he'll be going up, and believe it or not, I do sell the tea infusers. They do sell. Uh, what else is in? Oh, this I got because I was watching somebody else's channel, and they picked up a in double insulated, which is what this is. This is a baking pan. They picked it up kind of by accident. Um, they didn't want it, but it was carrying around some things that they wanted inside of it. So they ended up getting this as well. And it turns out that apparently they sell pretty well. So that's why I got that. I'm going to take a chance on it. And then what is this? I don't know. Oh, yes. This is, these, oh my gosh, these are heavy. So in, if you watch Heidi's now, if, when you go watch Heidi's video, you'll see that she picked up a whole bunch of old 45 records. Well, these are not even 45s. These are, what are these? Are these 78s? Is that what they call these? The real, can you see the thickness on these? Now, I have no idea. I didn't look them over or anything for scratches or any of that kind of thing. Um, but this is an RCA Victor. <laughs> this was side six of Moonlight Serenade Foxtrot by Glenn Miller. Oh my goodness. Yeah, correct me. Or somebody that knows records. Is this a 78? I kind of think it might be. But I got a whole, um, that book that I showed you is just full of them. And I have no idea if they're, you know, if anybody is interested in those or not. But I picked them up. Uh, and then the last that I'm going to show you from this haul are these, I think, beautiful burlap Christmas stockings. I found one and I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, I wish there were two of them. And then sure enough, in another bin, I don't know how long after I found the first one, I found the second one. So now I have two of them. So those, of course, will be going away uh, for Christmas time. So... That's a lot of stuff. I hope you held out with me. Now, I have to, you think I would have been thinking all along here what my favorite was. Um, gosh. Okay, I might have two favorites. The cross pen and pencil set because it just brings me back to 1977 when I graduated and the American flag, which is under here, under all of the horses and stuff. So I have two favorites from this haul. So if you would, um, in the comment section down below, uh, let everybody know what your favorite find was. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I will have another video coming a uh, same size bin filled up with the remainder of the items that I picked up at the Goodwill bins in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And don't forget to go check out Heidi's video where she shows you what she picked up. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you could throw some good thoughts um, toward my Valerie for her surgery tomorrow, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, that is it for now. I will see you in my next video. And of course, until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. And... Diesel and Lewis and I say bye for now.